we've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. So you're now no longer are you necessarily keeping those private files in some file cabinet that's locked in the basement of the house. It's on your laptop and it's then therefore up here in this cloud that exists above us, right? The Caribbean nations, island nations, in the Western Hemisphere, that is where the Caribbean is, we are also in the Western Hemisphere, they are our neighbors. I am here, standing here on the northern flank, on the eastern flank, talking about what we have in terms of the eastern flank. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? Space is exciting. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Every day it is time for us to agree that there are things and tools that are available to us to slow this thing down. We will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work. Do you ban plastic straws? I think we should. Yes. I mean, look, I'm going to be honest. It's really difficult to drink out of a paper straw when you had, if you're just, like, if you don't gulp it down immediately, it starts to bend. Yes. And, then, and then, you know, the little thing catches it. And then, you know, so we got to kind of perfect that one a little bit more. Do you know, okay, a bit of a history lesson. Do you know that women were not, the women's teams were not allowed to have brackets until 2022? So the United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. AI is kind of a fancy thing. It's, first of all, it's two letters. It means artificial intelligence.